get my suggestions to write you know the terms down and what do you get there you get seven and then you get you know minus three sevens well to the se to second power next term is going to be seven minus three sevens to the third power and then you get seven minus three sevens to the fourth power what I'm going to do is factor out um, seven and I'm going to factor out minus three sevens squared. What are you left off with? One plus minus three sevens plus minus three sevens squared, yada, yada, yada. Again, let me remind you about the geometric. One plus x plus x squared plus yada, yada, yada equals one over one minus x provided the absolute value of x less than one. Well, what I know about this is the absolute value of minus three sevenths is three sevenths and it's certainly less than one, so I can use the formula. Let's write it down. You get seven. Uh, let's see, minus three squared is nine. Seven squared is 49. All right, let's put the sum down now. What do you get? One, one minus, well, the x. What is it? Minus three sevenths. So I can put down plus three sevenths. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 7. We'll do the arithmetic later, by the way. You're going to get 7. And what do you get on bottom? If you multiply by 7, you'd get 7 plus 3, which is 10. What's nice about this? 7 times 7 is 49. That reduces. What are you left off with? 9 tenths. Look at the key. Make sure you're looking at that answer. If you're not looking at that answer, a mistake has probably occurred. And, you know, I'm not beyond making a mistake. A lot of times I'll make a mistake over and over again and say that's the answer when it's not the answer. But anyway, nine-tenths. Thank you.